Hello everybody, Gorilla Sub here. Welcome back to another video. Finally, we're finally taking a, a bit a bit of a break from the fanfic videos. I can already hear some people be like, thank God. God, but trust me, we'll be going back to that two dock piece of shit later to finally kill it off and finish it. And then we'll, then we'll be, you know, we'll be right back on with it. Oh, lovely Gorilla's programming. <laughs> But apart from that, today we're going to be talking about one of the most underrated things in Gorillas themselves. And Gorillas, no, not Russell himself, though he might get a video soon. And we are talking about what the small group, the remix, mixed partners with Gorillas, the Space Monkeys. Ah, the Space Monkeys. What can truly be said about these gems? So the Space Monkeys were this little, little group that the band had. You know, they're a cartoon band to exist in Gorillas. They're a band in a band. Basically, in reality, in reality, the Space Monkeys are made up of three people: people, Darren, Darren Galea, Richie Stevens, and Gavin Tuds. Gavin Duds. The trio, uh, well, simple. Space Monkeys first started off, off because of a Gorillas B-side that they made called Tomorrow Dub. Tomorrow Dub, uh, is basically just is what eventually became Banana Baby, the baby. This is you know a remix of tomorrow comes today that was included on the tomorrow comes today single single the reason it exists because symbol damon liked it and and gave them the opportunity to make a whole album off of like come home well for space monkeys keys so we ended up getting like a come home oh, now there are there are three tracks that don't have live versions that don't have remix versions it's basically the entire like first album really it's the entire album except for double bass line Simone. Simone and Rock the House. I think that memory reason they left Rock the House off because Rock the House is a one of the tracks, the sounder there was a Nevily uh remix for it apparently. Yeah, the sounder is a remix of Rock the House House. And I feel like it's mostly like that because some of the lyrics that were used in the sounder they're right were uh, then used on on the rock on the live version of the house the reason it's that a live version you know ribs because it shares the baseline baseline so that's the main reason why it's there i don't know it's just kind of basic track well the sound is great but that doesn't matter i feel like with gorillas if space monkeys was like a good project right it was a good concept good idea yeah and it was pretty well i actually would like to see them again most of us would like to see them again did a page right you know you know the person that makes her videos and is an absolute cut just chat to this channel no he actually adores the space monkeys well because i like to plug this real quick he's actually been making these things on his soundcloud page on soundcloud's wife from fan page go follow him there he's been making these mashups of uh, i think he found like the instrumentals for lucky come home it's basically a space monkeys and yfm mix Mix. I actually would suggest that you go check them out. We actually um put two of those tracks onto the uh, Hub Sides album. Well, yes, we made a Hub Sides album that should be coming out soon. Besides that, let's get back to the Space Monkeys. Now, in the lore, right, the Space Monkeys consist of these three people. Three, three monkeys: Desire, Dubverse, Dubverse, and Gava. But they're three chimps from the second generation of mutated offspring, so that descended from the monkey sent to space during the Cold War. Alright, the trio consider Laika. Laika is the, you know, space dog. He this was a This was a dog, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a Soviet space dog and was one of the first uh ones that went to space. It was launched into Laika was lost in a space is on November third, nineteen fifty seven. And it was also the time when she died. That she had died that day within hours of overheating, and it's been. But her death wasn't her death. At the time and ca cause and time of her death was probably 2002. So in two, and it was like it's sad that she died. And, and because of that, the space monkeys, you know, they tr considered her as their god, and they didn't know that she died. Died, and they were like, so they were. So the mon space monkeys were searching for. And because of you know Laika, that's why they named the album Laika Come Home. During their search for Laika across all the space, it's the Space Monkeys had stumbled across Kong Studios. While Gorillaz was America was doing was doing the U.S. tours in around what is it uh 2002, 
who 2D for some reason left the studio unlocked, allowing the trio to break in and steal the Gorillaz master tapes and create a remix album. It's released behind the band's back and infuriated Murdoch regardless of the positive reviews the album received. Murdoch mostly knows about Like I Come Home because of a fan and he was at like a signing, right? A fan just randomly walked up to him, to him and gave him it. That's how the Space Monkeys were able to do that. Like I'm home. Murdoch, a fan tried to do that and then... Mm. Well, a fan gave him the cover of an album that he had never saw before. He's like, what the hell is this? It's come to find out that it's an album that's an album that was stolen from him. Him. Though I find that really funny that a fan tried to give like a come home to Murdoch to sign it when it's like they didn't even have anything to do about that I'd say uh, like a come home right was the first and only six monkeys album at this point it's one of the best yes it's one that's generally pretty good good there was supposed to be more space monkey stuff though there was even supposed to be a remix album for demon days but that was eventually scrapped sadly and we haven't seen space monkeys ever since 2002 so we've seen some things, you know, there's like, I uh, was one of the people that, uh, one of the people behind the account, behind Space Monkeys has a SoundCloud account where they were uploading some rare stuff. The latest thing Space Monkeys ever did was to chop a remix, mix of Dirty Harry, Harry, and that was the last kind of quote unquote Space Monkeys thing. thing. That was until 2017 when one of the people behind Space Monkeys, I think it was like, look, Gavit or something. Then he had said, "Oh, the Space Monkeys will be coming out." Oh, there's in 2017. Oh, Space Monkeys might be coming back in 2017. Well, there's 2021, and we haven't seen the Space Monkeys since. Since there hasn't been a lot of things about Space Monkeys really, when you think about it. We haven't gotten a single thing really from them. We haven't gotten a Demon Days album, a Plastic. Honestly, when I look at some of this stuff, and uh, I now. How would a Space Monkeys remix of like Demon Days or Plastic Beach or The Fall even work? Look, I'm not doubting that they could do bad because they did pretty good with some of the tracks. Tracks, it's just that I don't even know how they could work. Work. Although it would be really awesome to see that. that yeah, I guess it was supposed to release in 2007. In 7. So, hmm. Now, when, my, when I believe it, I think that it could possibly be. And don't quote me on this. I think that it could possibly have been D sides before they scrapped it. I feel like I feel like that's the major why it was scrapped because some well, yeah, that or just Gorillas didn't really want to do another remix album. But, but the Space Monkeys uh, has been dead for all these years. It hasn't come back yet. I don't know if it ever will. We don't know. So who knows? In the future, we might be able, we might be able to see like a re-release. Of Luck like Come Home's uh, vinyl release. Because some, most of your albums that I haven't gotten a vinyl release or have gotten some have not been like re released since. Since, uh, that's kind of like the thing with uh, the past albums. The, all the past albums have been released. D sides and G sides had got vinyl releases finally. But Luck like Come Home has not got a new one ever since 2002, and it's, and it's worth a shit ton. So if you go on eBay, it's gonna it's one of the hardest vinyl records to find besides Plastic Beach or the fall or uh fucking demon days because we know De if you know demon days you know that that vinyl release for like the og one that's a tough one to find i'm right, just typing in space monkeys on the google you know on ebay you can find a lot of things things you know and some of the stuff can go for like there's like there's a rare cassette f cassette version and like i said the vinyl goes for a lot uh, there even was this like cd uh like i think it was like a brazilian thing it's like a box set of G size and like it come home. Um, I don't think it's official. Well, I, I might be. Be because has the official discs, so that gives it off. It's a pretty cool release. I will give it that. At least it's got the official EMI logos on it, so yeah, it might actually be official. So, sure, but I wouldn't really trust it. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really that much to talk about with the uh, with. You know, Space Monkeys. Cause Space Monkeys doesn't really have that much to it. Much to it, right? But yeah, this has been the video on on the Space Monkeys. It's monkeys. I have been I have been 2D of the Gorillas Hub, and I will see you in the next Gorillas Hub video. See you.